again, another day at the car. So, today I'm going to be removing my front sway bar this time, which is not easily visible. Sorry about that, but I don't have a light because it's raining. I forgot to bring it, but, yep, rain. You can hear the sound. Yeah. Um, but it's not a hard job. It's not hard. Won't take me too long, cause there's your there the ding or whatever's old uh, tie rod. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, tie rod. You know, I forgot what a tie rod. Is. I don't. You know, I forgot which is a tie rod. I don't care though. So yeah, I'll be pausing a minute. Though, but uh... oh, you can't see much. There's a sway bar. There it is, in all its amazing glory, and it's gonna come out of there in a few minutes. Alright, I'm gonna pause because that's a difficult thing. Right, feller and eaters. Um, yeah, sway bar's gone off out of the car. And that's not broken, by the way, that little piece of plastic there. It's removable. So, here we go, here we go. Back at it again. Um, forgot to bring this over here for a little while there, but, you know, I didn't do a lot. So, there's the sway bar brackets. You notice there's no bushings in those brackets because those don't come off for some reason anymore. You gotta cut them off. I didn't know that. I also put those bushings on. I did not, <laughs> I had no idea they don't come off without cutting or being completely entirely worn out. So, yeah. I got it all navel jelly rating in. You see, it's doing a good job. That navel jelly is working, it's magic. It's, it truly is eating that rust though. That sh all that shiny stuff is the navel jelly. I just use, I just wiped it on with a paper towel and it was still rusty. But ooh, does a lot better when you use an insane amount of it. Wasn't using enough last time, I don't think. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'll wipe that off in a few minutes. Uh, so this way is getting towards something. Also, that navel jelly is the paint remover. That's fun. And I gotta hope I have enough primer to, to do priming, which yeah, I can cover that. But I also have this if it'll ever. Oh, wait, I forgot. I don't think this primer works. I gotta figure out a way to start this can because I might need that. So. Be back in a minute. See if I get that primer can working. If not, then we're gonna have to use black paint as primer. But yeah. All right, fellerinators. The sanding was boring, so I didn't say that. But it's primed, it's masked, and yeah, I'm not painting my um, bushings red because I'm not faking polyurethane. I can afford them. I just couldn't find them. But yeah, uh, pretty primed, lightly primed because it, this have, this one had way more paint than the other one, so I don't need full primer. I just need some. But I got rid of that rust. It's doing fine. And this spot, I think it'll live. Do it for those paint chip stuff. To make sure those are gone. This isn't the worst spot ever, but I would still like it to be gone. Yeah, it'll paint, it'll paint. So in a few more minutes, I'm gonna be starting that painting. Just a little bit more. Then it'll start getting red and beautiful. All right, so we are finished. This is a front sway bar. Painted, clear coated, and looking beautiful. Ooh, oh, it's gonna look so nice. And then it's on to my calipers, which, look at that, I match, <laughs> I'm matching, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful, that don't matter by the way, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful, I love it, love everything about it, that is a thick sway bar, that's cool. So I'm going to be going inside for the several hours before I go to bed. 
Right before I go to bed though, this is gonna be installed because in, let's see how many hours. Uh, uh, 30 minutes to handle. I'm gonna give it an hour to use it. But, I'm gonna make another video for that because I'm gonna go inside for a little longer than an hour. Yeah, that's done. See ya.